Yo, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out episode 9 of House of the Dragon. What up? Now this episode I'm expecting to be very intense. Last week we lost King Viserys and there's going to be a lot of ramifications from that. Um, Rhaenyra is the heir to the throne right now, but I don't think that Alicent is going to let that go quietly. Um, I think that she's going to try to install one of her sons. So I feel like the tensions are going to really ramp up in this episode. Uh, and this is the penultimate episode. So next week is the season finale. So I feel like this episode is really going to bring that tension to lead into next week. The show has been very, very good. I've really enjoyed it. Can't believe we're almost done. Uh, what a ride so far. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more of these reactions, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get into episode nine of House of the Dragon. That's eerie. Where is everyone? Funeral, maybe? There's just no life in the Red Keep anymore. It's really weird. I saw him last night. He told me he wished for Egon to be king. No, that's not what he meant. It is the truth. So this is like right after. Okay. And now he's dead. I think he think he, I think he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. What are these balls? Phrasing boom! <clears throat> Inappropriate. Was Dawn invaded? The king is dead. Yeah. Smart ass. We grieve for Viserys the Peaceful. Viserys the Peaceful. I like that. He was. He was a good king. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish that his son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven Kings. Although I do think that she thinks that's what he meant. So I don't think she's misrepresenting what he said. Yes, there is much to be done, as we've previously discussed. Now, Wait, they've already been planning things? If he watch that remain loyal to Daemon, let us replace them. She was not aware of it. Let ravens be sent to our allies, River Run and High. He wasn't either. It is treason, at the least. Mind it is your tongue, Lyman. The king was well. Last Why? Time. By all accounts. Uh oh. I care not. I will have no Sit part. Down! Oh my God. That guy's like, I'm out of here. I will not suffer insults to her grace, the queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Christian. You can put aside your blade. He works for her and her alone. Let us have Lord Peasbury removed. No. Wow. The door remains shut until we finish our business. Ruthless. I'm just going to leave that dude just sitting there with his head cracked open like a cantaloupe? Oof. This is going to get messy. She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. She will never bend the knee. You plan to kill them. Of course they do. They just made up in the last episode. The king wouldn't wish for any of the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet... One more word and I will have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. Okay. Okay, Alison. I like that you're showing some kind of... You know, morals. Take your knights to Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. You gotta stop it. I'm just gonna quit. Do it yourself. He's just gonna send Kristen. Kristen will go do it. Where's the prince? I believe he may have left the keep secretly. Gone into the city. Find him. For what purpose? Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. This is already super tense. And we're what, like... 10 minutes into the episode. What is the meaning of this? They're doing a coup. Are they putting them all in prison? Oh, this guy, Lyris. Everything you feel for me is your queen. I will not fail you. Oh, they're going to do a little thing, aren't they? If they haven't already. Uh 
I want to see a show set like in the lower levels of King's Landing. This is due to my brother, he said. Find out what, what what the lives are of all these people. How you grow? Yeah. Why does he look like 30? And his older brother looks like he's like 20. You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must pledge them to the future king. Some of those people were just like, all right, cool, right away. Confer first with my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. Uh oh, I'll take it by intimidation, I guess. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. All right, so that dude's gonna get killed to be made an example out of. House Fell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Very well. He's gonna have them killed. Rhaenyra is gonna be pissed. Damon's gonna be pissed too. This is this is gonna get bloody. Let's have a look. Go on. Come out. Come out. What the hell? What the hell is this? Did they like sharpen their teeth? It's messed up. About ten years, I should say. Jesus. Hey, God. One of many I'd wager. Oh, wow. No. He's not who you want to put in as king. His secrets are his own. He's welcome to them. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. He seems like he'd be super dangerous too, though, to have as king. I should trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the white worm can tell him. The white worm? Who's the white worm? I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Home? Let the king's justice take him. What house is he with? I've said it before in the comments, he better win an Emmy for this season. He was so good. To get buried with this crown? Is there a new crown for every king? I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. I sincerely regret for the lack of ceremony. She doesn't know yet. The king. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> she picked up on that really quick. Mrs. Rennies, I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. The Iron Throne was yours by blood and by temperament. Would have probably worked out better for everybody. If it's drift, Mark, you want, you should have it. For you and your granddaughters to pass on as you see fit. You are wiser than I believe you to be. There's a real, like, 180 again from Allison in the past two episodes. Where is Prince Aegon? I thought. The prince is in Flea Bottom where no one is to be trusted. Flea Bottom? Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. They kidnapped him? an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. I look into it. You have my word. I mean, I wouldn't trust that at all. Listen. Is this where Aegon is? This is where, um, Rhaenyra and Alicent were in, like, the first episode. Where is the White Worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? I want my mother. Yeah, Eamon looks, like, ten years older than this guy. You flee what all the men die, see, can I go? This is really not who we should be putting on the Iron Throne. I mean, this is very public. I wonder how many sword fights just happen out on the street in King's Landing. Are people just used to it? Yeah, well, they must be. They're all just like, huh? Oh. Another fight? Kristen might kill him. Whoa, wait. His brother's just leaving him? No wish to rule! No taste for duty! I'm not suited! At least he knows. He's he understands. They will find a ship and sail away, never to be found. 
I mean, he's into that, because then he could take it. Rolling up a fatty. <laughs> Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. Yeah, it was always what you wanted. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many, though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder is not a weakness. So there is a line that she has. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? And both. My son will take the crown of his namesake, the Conqueror, and carry Blackfire, his sword. Blackfire. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. Why so weird? Just get in the flask, Adrian. As you wish. Good for her for like finally standing up to him, though. Being like, no, this is how it's going to be. The hour is late, Lord Laris. Laris, what are you doing? Your father, the Hand, found Ekon first. This guy's so slimy. Feed the weaver. And this weaver watches me. He has a foot thing. Talia. There are more like her. Even I do not know their number. I mean, Blink, bro. Yo, weird. When the queen dies, the bees fly without purpose. You talk about killing her dad? I assume this task falls within your expertise. If you wish it. Weird. That guy's so strange. With me, princess. I could not let this treachery stand. Who is this? Oh, no. Who's that? Oh, they just killed that guy. I don't know about this. Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. Is he leading her into something dangerous? What's that? Was that the uh, the flea, the flea something? I didn't see who that was. Flea bottom. Is that what that place was? It was burning, where the kids were fighting. They shut it down. What's happening? Yeah. Are literally herding sheep. Are they like gathering everybody for? Oh, that's a cool crown. Are they gathering everybody for the ceremony? Then is that what they're doing? Have the decency to look grateful. Do you know what's been done to give you this day? Murders, a lot of murders. With his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. So she, I, I, she does believe it, but I, that's not what he, he meant. I really do think he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. You must not rule with cruelty and callousness. For all her faults, she is your sister, your, your father's daughter. That's right, they are like half brother and sister. Now, I can't remember. Is he the Mad King? Aegon? Probably go back and watch like the first five episodes, five seasons of Game of Thrones. So they were just gathering everybody to come. He whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. <laughs> that guy in the front that was just smiling. Like, all right, cool. Happy to be here. Gold cloaks? Wait, there's some red in there, too. His demeanor's changed in the last uh, couple minutes. Are we gonna get Rhaenyra in this? Is she gonna show up? May the crone lift her shining lamp. She was able to get out of there pretty easy. King of the Andals and the Rhoynar and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector uh -oh. of the Realm! That look is not a peaceful one. They're all like, sure, I guess. Uh, 
I don't know, I gotta get back to my bakery. Yeah, power's not gonna go to his head or anything. He didn't want it 24 hours ago. What the hell? Oh, where'd you come from? Whoa, whoa. Oh, she went and got her dragon. Ooh, look at her. She looked fantastic. What's happening? What was her dragon's name again? It looks amazing. Ooh. So what was all that for then? <laughs> that dragon never gets old. Wow. That was a very tense episode. Um, that ending was really cool. I still, I don't understand what the point of it was. Um, I mean, basically she just came up out of the ground on the dragon and took out a bunch of people in King's Landing and then flew away. <laughs> and her dragon screamed at the queen, or I guess, uh, Alicent. I don't know what, what her role becomes now that Aegon's the king. Um, but anyway, just basically screamed at them and then took off. Yeah, I don't know what was the point of that. I kind of had a feeling like she was going to toast one of them up, but I guess not. Um, wow. So this, this episode had a lot of... It was definitely a lot of setup for next week, I think. We didn't see Rhaenyra. We didn't see Damon. They, at this point, at the end of the episode, it's only been, what, like, maybe 36 hours since the Kings died? So I, they have no way of knowing yet. Rhaenyra's planning on coming back, you would assume, with Damon as well. And they're going to come back to a very, very different King's Landing. I don't think Alicent is going to be able to rein Aegon in. The look he had the last couple of minutes of this episode seems like the power is going to go to his head like yesterday. He had a look in his eyes that he is going to do whatever he wants. So I don't know. I know Alicent wanted Rhaenyra and Damon and all of them to be everybody to be spared. I don't know if he's going to allow that, especially because Rhaenyra is, and she's not going to, we don't know what the terms are that Alicent had laid out. I feel like they probably were reasonable. And like she said, that won't bring shame on her, but Rhaenyra is not going to accept that. Although Rhaenyra said she didn't want, or she said she didn't think she wanted to take over um, in the last episode when she was talking to Viserys. Um, because of everything that it has done, basically. Everything that happened since he named her heir. So, maybe she does just let Aegon have it? I, that doesn't seem like... <laughs> that doesn't seem like uh, very Game of Thrones, you know? Or maybe maybe Rhaenyra's fine with it, and Damon, Damon's not going to have it. Who knows? Gosh. I kind of don't know where the finale's going to go. I mean, it'll probably end up being... Rhaenyra versus Aegon or some kind of, you know, form of that where Rhaenyra is going to try to claim the Iron Throne. We're setting up for a hell of a season finale. I hope it's, I can't remember the old, um, the original trilogy or the original trilogy in the original series if the season finales were longer, but I hope that the season finale is like an hour and a half. That would be really, really cool um, because I feel like there's a lot there's a lot to figure out, although I guess they could 
you know, leave uh, or end on a cliffhanger and set up season two. Although it only got a green lit at the beginning of this season. So maybe they, I mean, they must know where they were going to go. And anyway. well, I guess they got the book. So there's just, this could go bad for so many people. Kristen's now the head of the Kingsguard, uh, the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, and he's just ruthless. Um, although he seems like he has some morals, you know, like when they were walking around trying to find Aegon, um, you know, he was like, what, what did he say? The um, women are in, in the image of the mother and shouldn't be disrespected, something along those lines. Um, so he has that goodness to him, but... I mean, since episode five, um, yeah, he's just, he's very ruthless, but he's very, I think it's all just because he's very loyal to, um, Allison. I don't know if there's something going on between them, but I, I think that he's loyal to her because of when she stopped him, um, from, you know, gutting himself after he killed, what's his name? Joffrey. We found out in this episode that Aegon has basically just been going around King's Landing having a bunch of kids um, and now that he's king I feel like that's going to come up again and not now but I mean the way the show jumps time it could be you know sometime next season we have now all of these other kids you know when Aegon's gonna have to name an heir I don't know with all those other kids running around town it's just going to set up to be very messy again. I want to know. I also want to know what that building on fire was. I really hope it was Flea Bottom is what I believe is. That's that like fighting ring where they had all those kids with like the nails and filed down teeth. I hope they burn that down. The White Worm wanted to get that shut down. So that's really good because that's really messed up. Um, I didn't like that. So speaking of the White Worm, that's very interesting that her character, um, basically from, what was it, C or episode two, when she was with Damon, and then decided she was going to go do her own thing, and now she's seems like she's kind of a player in King's Landing, you know? Uh, she's got a cool nickname, the White Worm. She's got a network of, uh, what would she call them, spiders or something? Is that That's what they kind of referred to him as. Or I guess that's what uh, Lyris, that guy, that's what Lyris referred to him as. But, I mean, speaking of Lyris, that guy is so weird. So weird. And it wasn't the, uh, like, the whole feet thing, like, whatever your thing is, that's cool. Um, I think it was just that. It's just him, is, he's just weird. So everything he does is weird. <laughs> It just, uh, I, he makes me very uncomfortable. But, I mean, the actor is playing him fantastically. The character is just very, very strange. Kind of reminds me of a little foot. I'm sure I'm not the first person to make that comparison. But he is kind of playing his own game. And I think he probably has some feelings for Allison, similar to how little foot, little foot, little finger, not <laughs> little foot, land before time, little finger. Um, how little foot, li uh, how little finger. <laughs> I keep calling him Littlefoot. Um, how Littlefinger had the feelings for Sansa, I think Lyris kind of has that for Alicent. So he's, I think he's just, you know, kind of playing his own game. And it'll eventually, if the show has taught me anything, it'll eventually catch up to him. And he will meet a very timely death? I don't know. Um, but very good episode. Very good episode. I cannot wait till next week. We've got the season finale. It's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. Um, yeah. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down there. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell. You know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one.